Hello everyone, my name is Feed Alligators and welcome back to another video. Today we will be talking about the best MK9 Bruin Warzone class snub. So without further ado, let's get into this thing. Now the MK9 Bruin for me is a very strong and reliable LMG and makes perfect for Warzone. It is a very good fire rate and a very good amount of damage for the fact that it has a fast fire rate and 100 shots at your disposal. And also, surprisingly, it has a lot of control for being an LMG, of course. And, to my surprise, it is really, really fast to aim in and just moving around all together. So let's go ahead and get started with the class setup. The first attachment you're going to want is the Monolithic Suppressor. Now this, of course, will give you better range and sound suppression. This makes it perfect for Warzone where you want to stay hidden and, of course, have better range to hit enemies at a longer range. So that is our first attachment. Our next attachment is the XRK Summit Barrel. This barrel is the biggest barrel that comes with the Mark 9 Brew and it gives you recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range. These all help for hitting targets at a longer range and for hitting people at medium to close range as well. This also eliminates the need for more recoil control for the gun. So this is the best of both worlds. You get better damage range and recoil control which makes it so you don't have to put on a grip if you don't want to. The next attachment is up to your choice. I personally chose the X... Wait, why did I see the X? The AP5X scope. This scope isn't exactly a red dot sight, but it's not a sniper scope either, so it's perfect for Warzone. Because we want this gun to be good at medium, close, and long range. So having a sniper scope on it kind of defeats the purpose of it being close range. The next attachment has almost no downsides, it is the skeleton stock. Unlike most stocks that help with aim down sight, ADS speeds, I almost said that wrong, this one doesn't give up recoil control at all. In fact, the only thing this takes down is aiming stability, which isn't super important. And it helps your ADS speed a lot, almost as much as having no stock, which is really good. Also, if you're the type of person who walks when you aim down, it also helps your aim walking movement speed, which is very good for this gun if you're just walking around so that you're not sprinting so that you have to bring down your gun. The final attachment is one that doesn't have any cons, kind of just like the skeleton stock, it is stippled grip tape. This one is completely the choice. I recommend this stippled grip tape, but you could easily put on any perk you want in, spo in the spot of this. Perk I would recommend to have for this gun is sleight of hand if you're not going to have on stippled grip tape, of course. And just like the skeleton stock, this helps your ADS speed and also your sprint to fire speed, which is good if you like running around a lot or sprinting around. And the only con on this gun is, or the only con on this attachment is aiming stability, which isn't very important to begin with. So with that out of the way, let's get into gameplay. As you can tell by the gameplay, my ADS speed is sped up and I have a monolithic suppressor and the biggest barrel possible and also a sight. These attachments help me stay hidden while being able to hit people at very, very long ranges. Also, the movement speed for this gun is very good. The range and accuracy are very extended because of the recoil control and also the sight helps us aim in to targets at further range. This makes it a perfect combo for Warzone having, of course, I realize I say of course a lot, but Having a good damage range, sound suppression, a sight, and good ADS speed makes it perfect for short, medium, long range, and for having fun. That is going to do it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.